In this game, you have Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers traveling to Carolina to take on Teddy Bridgewater and the Panthers. For this game, I like Tampa minus six points. Tampa was humiliated last week. I mean, the Saints destroyed them in every facet of the game. This is still Tom Brady, right? The greatest quarterback to ever play. And this is still the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. One loss and everyone writes them off. This is still a good team. And they have an excellent defense and their defense has pride. They know they were humiliated last week and they are going to bring it this week. They're in the top five scoring defense. They're number one against the run. They're number one in the NFL in takeaways right now. They are going to show up today and so is Tom Brady. They're going to work Mike Evans in. They're going to work AB in. They're going to work Gronk in, who had a bad game last week. Also, they're going to get Scotty Miller involved. Uh, They're going to get uh, uh, Chris Godwin involved. I mean, this is a loaded team that's still figuring itself out. And this is the perfect game for this. Now, Carolina, you cannot take them lightly. Teddy Bridgewater is fifth in the NFL in passing yards. He has Robbie Anderson, who is fourth in the NFL in receiving yards. And he also has uh, DJ Moore, who also has 640 yards and three touchdowns. This is a good team. Christian McCaffrey may not be in, but David Moore has done an excellent job. I was almost tempted to take the over, but style to me is everything. Here's my thing with the Panthers. They don't get after the quarterback. They have 10 sacks on the year. What do we know about Tom Brady? When he has time to throw the ball, he is excellent. He has seven interceptions on the year. Five of those interceptions are against the Saints. The other two are against the rest of the NFL. It's because the Saints can pressure the quarterback. So today I look for Tom Brady to have a big game, to get AB involved, to get Mike Evans involved, to get everyone involved. I can see the Panthers putting up a fight. However, because of style, I don't see a field goal game at all. Both these quarterbacks throw the ball. This this could be a high scoring game where I see the Bucs winning by 10 points. It's definitely going to be seven points or more, though. Panthers don't get after the quarterback. Tampa does. Panthers don't have a defense like Tampa does. That's where the edge is, so I can see Tampa winning by 10 points. My recommendation, take the Bucs minus six.